So uh, really, same thing, four minutes, how do I do it? Okay. So quick story about me is uh, I have been doing this since a little kid, you know, hanging out in the grandfather's dark room, went to school, Cabrillo, San Jose State, met Orby there, absolutely. Photographing ever since then. And so for me, I'm one of those guys who really does everything. And when you talk to, say, like, you know, PPA member, uh, mentors or teachers, they would tell you, pick a thing or two and stick with it. But really, I get, you know, uh, I get high or uh, I get off on really just doing it all. So whether it's a wedding or, so really it's weddings, it's portraits, it's fine art, and it's commercial work. But So those four things though are so broad. And uh, I mean, just, you know, portraits alone, it's, it's anywhere from, you know, babies to the high school seniors to who you are. And, and so what I like is the challenges of all that stuff. So every single situation, you know, say if it's like a baby, all these little tricks that you gotta, you know, think of. Okay, you know, closing this baby, the light, you know, or lack of lighting, you know, window lighting, things like that. Um, and then really, in the landscape world, that's that's what really gets me going. My favorite thing is, is the fine art stuff. So what I like doing, I'm obsessed with the alignment of things. So anyone else out there getting into photography, you know, you're always composing things and um, you're taking great shots. But what I like to do is, you know, it's really made me an amateur astronomer, things like that, where just really pay attention. Where is the sun? You know, the moon, the stars at all these different times of year. And like say, for instance, in uh, two weeks, we have a really cool alignment of a crescent moon with the Milky Way for a day or two. So if anyone is into you know, Milky Way photos, like it's like the 4th or 5th of November, November, one of those days in there. Crescent moon aligns with the Milky Way. Last year, I got a great shot of the Pfeiffer Beach Arch, you know, that's uh, down in Big Sur there with the crescent moon in that arch. You know, it's just a little keyhole arch with the Milky Way above. And so you've got cool tools like that, but how can you make an interesting you know, image? How can I line up this and that? And, and you know, that's what really keeps me going, is uh, thinking of all these alignments, thinking of um, you know, how can you make a great picture with all, all these different alignments. And so that's what I would, I would say to everybody, is, is try to think of, uh, you know, you'll see things like, say, in uh, Yosemite, there's a thing called a moon bow, which twice a year the full moon rises just right to make a rainbow on a, on a, on a waterfall at night. And so you know, if you've seen a rainbow at night, I mean, it's just a really cool thing to see. You'll see maybe a color or two, you don't see the whole spectrum, but like those are known things in Yosemite, okay? You know, photographers, they know that the moon bow, the fireballs, things like that. But how can you do that, you know, in this town? How can you make you know, your, your shots? Uh, interesting like that. So for me, my dream, I'm trying to make a reality is a gallery, Capitola Gallery out in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where we have some property. And so that's been living, uh, trying to make that a reality of doing all these shots out in Yellowstone, concentrating here. So I'm trying to make that a reality. And like I said, I could talk for hours, pick a subject kind of thing. But uh, come visit me my galleries at the end of 41st. So.